guys are probably wondering, Tim, what is the M4 doing over here with the likes of these cars? Guys, I don't even know myself. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, so along this row of cars is the car that I'm here to collect today. Have a look at that, by the way. That is absolutely epic. Charged for the track, as it says just down there. This thing's a beast. But it's not that, unfortunately. It's not that, and it's none of these M3s over here. Oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> this is what we're collecting today. What the? F So there you have it guys, we have collected a Mini Cooper JCW hatch. It looks absolutely amazing, this British racing green. And more importantly, size factor, it looks like an absolute pocket rocket. Oh, so, this is solid. This is definitely a solid, huge, huge shout out to you guys for long-term viewers, those of you that are new to the channel. Please consider subscribing because there's loads more content to come and this thing here is lovely. So you're probably going to hear me say a lot because I'm a huge fan of a hot hatch. What we're going to do, we're going to make two videos on this car. We're going to do our initial drive today, talk about its spec, how it feels to drive it. And then later on, I'm going to give you guys a proper conclusion on what I think about this JCW. But for now, Let's quickly just talk about the spec sheet because I actually spec this car up last night and it was practically identical. Anything that I would want in a hot hatch or in a JCW per se, it would be this. So yeah, let's quickly talk about its spec. So spec wise, I'm just going to read off the sheet if I'm allowed to because it's just a lot easier to do this than to memorize this because I'm not that smart. But number one, we've got a sports automatic transmission and we've also got the flappy paddles which is going to be proper engaging, probably not as engaging for some purists as a manual but Nonetheless, I'm sure it's going to be quick enough. We've also got electric folding mirrors, which are great for when you park up. No one's going to slap them. Comfort access, nice and easy to get into the car. Key, put it in a little box, make sure no one can nick your car. We've got a rear view camera, make reversing easier. We've got panoramic sunroof. And in my opinion, on a hot hatch, always tick that box if you can. It makes the interior a lot more roomy and, and doesn't make you feel like, yeah, you're boxed in. That really makes the interior cabin feel a lot bigger. We've got a front armrest just over here, which is quite cool. I'm not too sure what this is. This is kind of like a charging thing, but yeah, my phone don't fit because my phone's hench, like me, man goes to the gym. Not as hench as Tom though, Tom's a big guy. You know what I'm saying, Tom? Tom's in, yeah, Ventress. We've got driving assistant, parking assistant, parking sensors front and rear, and we also have a Harman Kardon surround system. And me, I'm an audiophile, I love my music, so this should sound epic. We've got something called intelligent adaptive suspension. And it should mean that this thing should ride like it's a boat on water. It should be flowing nice and smooth. And then as soon as you whack this little uh, drive mode button into sport, it should firm up and everything should go really, really well. So we'll check that out later on, on our drive. gotta be this thing is surely a diesel i just got 45 miles to the gallon on a 50 mile journey nah 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 or as the young people say nah bruv nah bruv nah <laughs> but 
One thing I didn't do on this journey, I didn't take it out of eco mode. So it's got three modes, green, which is efficient driving, normal, which is called mid for the medium, you know, the happy medium, and a sport. So again, motorway journey, oh, let's go again. Relaxed, listen to sport. Okay, so <laughs> let's uh, just move out of here because someone's getting arrested, I think, or someone hasn't got insurance. Sorry, love, can't help you, mate. Yeah, should have got a mini, mate. They wouldn't have stopped you. <laughs> so, oh, immediately the steering, the steering is a bit heavy. Remember, guys, this is, I swear on everything. This is my first out of sight. Let me just close this sunroof. I was just doing a big flex. Obviously, enjoying. That is nice, that is nice. Because obviously, what you can do, I think maybe this is how I managed to get good efficiency. It is a tad warm today. Temperature says 14 degrees. What I actually did, I closed the windows, turned off the air condition, and I just cracked it open. It just slanted like this. And it was lovely. So maybe that's why, because I was using this power. Smart, you know, you know that guy, that, I forgot his name, but that picture. Yeah, so, ah, oh, sports mode active oh very very urgent very urgent oh man <laughs> Eesh. <laughs> it definitely let me just close this just so i can hear how it sounds from inside the cabin on the interior <laughs> yeah it definitely feels urgent already okay how can your alarm be going off while you while your car's moving that means your car's stolen, I see. Okay, so, feed it in. Oh, It's got a little kick in it. <laughs> it's got a little kick. So when you shift gears, you get what I can only describe as a DCT jump. So again, just cruising along here. Let's just get just below the speed limit. Just so I can do a little upshift. Okay, third gear. Yeah, there's, this, <laughs> there's a little little jolt in the back, which is all right. Nice little blip there. Yeah. It feels very direct, I'll say that. And it's a true manual, which means, oh, easy now, let me explain. Even though it's automatic, one thing I love is even though I was in fourth gear there, I just needed enough power just to push me out of the bend. If I went down a gear, it would have been way too much. It stayed in fourth, so I could put my foot down flat and watch the build, bo the bo build boost, watch the boost build, and let it shove me around the corner with just torque. And that's lovely, but... Oh, that's nuts. That's nuts. So I've also got a heads up display just dead center here. It is a tad low, something I did notice, even though I'm in the lowest seating position. But yeah it's heads up display eight gears so far so good so good hey german i did german when i was in school so when you go back into the neighborhood um a little flick of your drive button you can go back into mid whack the gear stick back towards the right and it's back into drive get the, the, the exhaust the exhaust quiets down the steering becomes light again and it's a very, very easy drive. Just again, I might sound like a broken record here, but so far, so good. So guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. Again, there is another video to follow, but I thought I'd just take you along and let you guys see how it feels collecting a press car for a week. So there is gonna be more content on the JCW, my proper, proper opinions of it. We'll get on some better roads. Obviously, I'm a bit short for time today. So yeah, and tired, because obviously yesterday I've done an eight hour round trip. But yeah, guys, as usual, if you have, if you have enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let me get it in second gear so we can give it a proper send off. There it is. I'll see you in the next one.